Hi everybody, Marco Carvalho here from businesscreditbuilders.org. Today's video, we're gonna answer the question, which business credit card should I start with? What we're gonna cover in this video, we're gonna share with you five different options that are available to you as a business owner. So if you're on the search for a business credit card and you're looking for your very first one, these five options we're gonna talk about are the five different types of cards that are available for you in the marketplace. So whether you have great credit, we're gonna go over that option. If you have bad credit and you have good revenues, we're gonna go over another option. Or let's just suppose you have good business credit and you don't wanna use your personal credit. We're gonna go over that option. Let's suppose you have bad personal credit, you have no revenues, we're gonna go over another option. We're also gonna go over an option for you that's a guaranteed approval, whether you have bad credit, no credit, no business credit, no revenue. So we're gonna cover all these five different options so you can get started with a business credit card for your company. So I wanna first talk about why it's important for you to get a business credit card. So if you're a startup, you're in the planning stages, or if you're an existing business and you've been running everything through like, let's say your business debit card, your business checking account, obviously that's not helping you establish credit for your company, business credit. So one of the things that's important for you as an owner is to realize you wanna separate your personal and your business expenses. So if you're using personal credit cards right now for your day-to-day -day expenses for your business, even if you're a sole proprietor, you wanna stop doing that. You wanna have that separation. This also allows you to protect your personal credit and build up a company credit file. When you have a business, and you have an EIN, even as a sole proprietorship, you can build a credit file for your company. Uh, we always encourage you to get incorporated, have an LLC or corporation because having a, a separate legal entity protects you from liability. Okay, so that's why it's important to incorporate and also allow you to separate your personal and business credit files. So when you have a business credit card that reports to a business credit reporting agency, this helps you establish credit in the company's name. The third thing is that it's easier to qualify for. When it comes to a business credit card, the five options we're gonna talk about, there's the least amount of barrier to entry. What I mean by that is a lot easier to qualify for a business credit card compared to a business loan or a traditional business line of credit. Most banks will wanna see tax returns, they wanna see financials, or they want expect you to be at least two years in business. So those are, the, those are the barriers to entry. That's why a business credit card is, I would have to say, the first thing you should acquire as a business owner so you can start using it for day-to-day -day expenses, et cetera. Now, you also gain purchasing power when you have a business credit card. This allows you to scale your access to credit depending on what type of business credit card you get. One option we're gonna talk about here is how to get 0% financing. That's with an unsecured business credit card. Now remember, we're gonna go over five options, five different types of business credit cards that are available and you can determine by the time you're done with this video, you'll be able to know this is the type of card I should start with because I fall into this category or these are the qualifications that best suit my needs. The next thing is this helps you establish a banking relationship depending on which card you apply for and you're, we can show you how to scale your access to even more credit once you acquire your first card. All right, so let's get started with the information. Before you start applying for your first business credit card, there's some information you wanna have on hand before you actually complete an application and get started. Also, it's important to realize this information is important because depending on the card you acquire, if they share that data with a business credit reporting agency, that's gonna help establish your company credit file. So you wanna make sure you have these things set up before you actually get a business credit card, like having your company name set up, your EIN number for your company, your, your, your obviously what year your business started, you wanna have that information, you wanna know your business address, have set that set up, your industry type, the owner's information. Now, one thing I want you to make sure that you realize is you don't have to have revenue or an established business credit file to qualify and acquire a business credit card. All right, because there are specific types of business credit cards you can get that don't require your business revenue or don't even look at your business credit report while some do. So just keep that in mind that anyone who starts a business can acquire a business credit card with these five options we're gonna talk about, you're gonna fit into one of these categories that you can apply. I recommend first and foremost for you to check your personal credit. Why are we telling you to check your personal credit? Because it's important that there are 
uh, one particular business credit card we're going to talk about where they run a personal credit check on you, especially if you're a startup. If you don't have any type of track record, any history, they're going to look at your personal credit to determine how much they're going to offer you in a business credit card limit. Okay, so you should be proactive and know, let me see and check what my personal credit looks like. We recommend using knowmycredit.org because that allows you to see all three credit reports and all three of your FICO scores. There's a lot of free services out there. Um, but they don't give you your actual FICO score. They may give you your Vantage score or an educational score. So you want to know what your FICO scores are. Now, with this FICO score range, there's lots of different uh, numbers that can come up between your Equifax file could be, let's say, 680. Your Experian could be a 700. Your TransUnion could be 690. But once you know what those scores are at, it's very important because then you can determine can I use my credit to acquire a business credit card? Let's say you have a 600 credit score or a 550. Well, then you know your credit score is gonna be a factor that you don't wanna use when acquiring your business credit card because your credit scores are too low. Okay, so if you go to knowmycredit.org, it'll take you to this site right here. Now, I do encourage you, it's a dollar for seven days, but $32.99 a month allows you full access to your credit reports 24 hours a day, seven days a week and allows you to monitor your credit reports. And this is something that everyone should have, not just business owners, but as an individual, you should always have access to your personal credit. That way you can monitor it, you can have protection. If you have any type of identity theft, there's a protection insurance in there. Um, but it's also, when you're applying for credit, you'll know where you stand. All right, so once you know that, let's talk about your credit, because your personal credit will be one factor that's gonna determine what type of business credit card you're gonna apply for. So if you're in the 680 or higher credit score range, that's the score range you're gonna be, wanna be at when it comes to applying for a business credit card that requires a credit check. Okay, there are other business credit cards we're gonna cover in this video that don't require a credit check or don't or allow you to have a lower credit score. Before you apply, it's important for you to realize when it comes to your credit, if you're gonna use your personal credit to get a business credit card where they're gonna run a credit check, remember, the size of your credit limits that you have on your personal cards is gonna play a big factor. That's called comparable credit. Your payment history, your length of credit history, your utilization that you currently have, new account activity, and inquiries. These are all components that are gonna factor in whether you get approved or not. Now, if you want some more details into that, I encourage you to watch this video right here, which we did about lines of credit on getting business credit cards. We really go into depth on these key factors before you apply for a business credit card that requires a business credit check. But let me share with you, if you're a 680 or higher credit score range, let's say with Experian, and let's say you only have a 650 with Equifax, or you have a 670 with TransUnion, but your Experian score is pretty strong. Well, then you can apply for a business credit card. So this is one option is applying for a business credit card that requires a credit check, a personal credit check. So that's option number one. So if you have good personal credit, this is one I would have to say the, the, the best options for you is to acquire a business credit card that requires a credit check if you have good personal credit. I love American Express because of the fact that this particular card, um, the barrier to entry is not too difficult. So granted, remember, there are hundreds of business credit cards in the marketplace that you can apply for that require a credit check. Okay, I'm just sharing with you one, okay? But uh, this is a, a very good card because of the fact that it's an American Express card. It's issued by American Express Bank. Okay, so you're establishing a relationship with an actual bank, all right, which is powerful. And American Express have lots of other cards available. So once you get into a bank like American Express, it opens you up to a lot of different opportunities. All right, they offer this particular card has 0% intro APR for 12 months, one to 2% cash back. Why am I selecting this particular AMX card? Because this is one of the easier, the lowest barrier to entry to get into AMX when it comes to their business credit cards. Okay, they have much more higher tier business credit cards available with American Express, but that is gonna determine how strong your personal credit is. So if your goal is to get into the door, this is one of the cards I recommend for you to start with. 
Uh, they give you the opportunity to get a $250 statement credit, no annual fee. When you spend $3,000 in your first three months, again, I recommend you have a 680 or higher FICO score with Experian before applying for this particular card. They make available to you here. This here's the American Express website. If you go to business credit cards, you'll see there's various different cards, but here is the blue business cash card. And now they allow you to, for this particular card, and you can find out if you're, if you're pre-approved with no impact, impact to your score. So um, you can apply now with this particular card and they'll do a soft pull. Now, if they are going to offer you and say you're going to get approved, then they're going to run a hard check. So I just want you to know that uh, with this particular card before you apply. So this is option number one, is applying for a credit card with a credit check. And this is great for those of you business owners who have good personal credit. But remember, if you have high utilization, let's say you're, you're way in debt in your credit cards, you have 70, 80% utilization, that's gonna be something that may decline you for these types of cards. Or if you have multiple inquiries, let's say you have three to four inquiries in the past 90 days, you may get de triggered a decline because there's too many inquiries. Um, let's say you have any late payments in, in the past uh, year to two years on credit cards, that's gonna most likely trigger a decline. Those are the things you wanna be careful of before applying for, for this particular type of car with a credit check, okay? But if you're not sure uh, if you're gonna qualify or not, I do recommend that you go through our pre-qualification review where we could do review on your credit report without any hard pull, no soft pull, you're supplying a recent credit report, and we could give you a projection on how much in business credit cards we can acquire for you with this, this, with this type of credit check option. Okay, so if you're not sure, go to businesscreditbuilders.org. That's our website, and you're gonna go right here on our website and click this pre-qualified now tab. That allow you to upload a recent copy of your credit report. The review is completely free, there's no obligation, and we're gonna provide you a funding projection if you qualify for these types of cards, okay? If you don't, we're gonna give you some advice, some things that you need to do, whether you need to pay down some debt, whether you need to remove some late payments, or whether you don't have enough credit, so we recommend you doing this, okay? So if you don't qualify for this particular card or you're not sure of it, go through our pre-qualification review. I highly recommend that. Now let's talk about option number two. Let's suppose you, have, you don't have good personal credit or you don't wanna use your personal credit, but you have revenues coming in through your business. This is option number two. This is a business credit card you can acquire that won't check your personal credit. They will look just at the revenue of your business. Now, now there's lots of different cards available in the FinTech space that's called financial technology companies that offer these types of business credit cards. Why am I talking about Fair Figure? this particular card? is because this is the lowest uh, barrier to entry. This is one of the easiest types of cards to get when they look at revenue. Many other cards available, I've done videos on them that require you to do maybe uh, 10, 15,000 a month in revenue, 20,000 plus a month in revenue. So they, their barrier to entry is much higher. So that's why I'm covering this particular option because this requires no credit check, no PG, only three months of business, and it only you have to be only doing 2,000 a month in revenue. So it's a very, uh, minimal barrier to entry to get into this particular business credit card. Now you do have to connect your bank account, your business bank account with Plaid that allows you read-only access for them to assess your revenues, how much is going through, and then when you they generate a Fundex score. So if you have a 30 Fundex score generated when you apply, uh, set up your account with, with uh, Fair Figure, that's when you want to apply for this particular card. Now, I did a video step-by-step -step showing you how to apply for this card, so watch that video right here, because that's where we go through how this card works, step-by-step, um, -step, how to apply, etc. But if you go to capitalbusinesscard.com, that's going to take you to this website right here. So to get started, you put in your email to get started. Well, this is option number two for you. For those of you, uh, if you don't want to use a credit check type to get a business credit card, then you can get a business credit card for your company that will look just at your revenues. This particular card has no annual fee and reports to Equifax Business and Credit Say. So this will help you build business credit as well. Each one of these cards that we're sharing with you will help you establish business credit. Option number three is a business credit credit check type of business credit card. Now this particular card is the Bill Divi corporate card. This is a, a business card that you can get for your company that will look at your business credit report. They're gonna check your business credit. So for those of you who have an established business credit file with Dun & Bradstreet, 
This is a car that will look at your DMB report. What's unique about this also though, is they're gonna want you to have some revenue. So they're gonna do a revenue verification. They're gonna want you to connect your account with Plaid to also have read-only access. So with this particular card, while the business credit check is a heavily weighted item here to qualify for this, the secondary item is your revenue, you producing revenue. So you can get this card with just a DMB credit check, a business credit report check, and a revenue check. That's it. But if you're, let's say your DMB credit report is not strong enough, then they're going to want to do a personal credit check. So with this particular card, which is really unique, is they have various eligibility criteria is used to qualify for this card. But if you have a very healthy Dun & Bradstreet credit report, you have multiple trade lines reporting, you have at least 12 months of payment history, and you have, um, let's say, 5000 a month of revenue going through to your business, you can get this card with just a business credit check and a revenue check only. So this is a third type of business credit card you can get. There's no annual fee. This does report to Dun & Bradstreet. You'll see right here, if you go to that website that I just mentioned to you, Smart Corporate Card that'll take you to this site and you just start your application so that's how simple it is to get started so it's smartcorporatecard.com so I just share with you three options one is a personal credit check type business credit card the second is a revenue check a base credit card the third is a business credit check type business credit card so let's talk about option number four this is a secured business credit card so for those of you who let's say you have less than perfect credit but you want to get into a mainstream bank, then you can opt for a secured business credit card. And what this means is you put a secured deposit, let's say uh, this particular card requires a thousand dollar deposit. The bank then holds that deposit and that's your credit limit for that particular card, a thousand dollars. So the minimum is a thousand dollars you have to put in a security deposit. And then now you'll have issued a $6,000 business credit card. And it operates just like a reg regular credit card. You got to pay it, your balance. Um, you, got, you can use it, but your credit limit is only up to the amount that you have in your secured deposit. So if an event of default, the bank can seize your security deposit to make good on the debt that you owe on the card. Bank of America has a secured business credit card. Now with this card, it requires a $1,000 security deposit. Credit limit equals deposit. Um, now, what's unique about this, though, is when you get this particular secured business credit card, you can transition into an unsecured business credit card with Bank of America because you're establishing a relationship with them, you're using your card, you're paying it on time. So this can lead up to an unsecured business credit card. So don't be discouraged if you have less than perfect credit right now or you're working on fixing your personal credit. I'm, I've already given you several different options. This is a secured option. I give you a revenue option. I give you a business credit check option. All right, so this is option number four. There's no annual fee for this card, and this reports to the Small Business Financial Exchange. So as you know, with the SBFE, that's a data warehouse that the major business credit bureaus use to co co compile data and create business credit report products. Okay, so this is another card that you can get that'll help you build business credit. Now, I do recommend having at least a credit score of 550 because they will run a credit check for you on this card. But the, the barrier to entry is very, very low as far as your credit score has to be at least in 550 or higher uh, and but because you're putting a security deposit to secure your credit line. So that's option number four. What do you do if, let's say, you don't want a credit check at all? You don't want to have a large security deposit. You don't have $1,000 available. You don't have any revenue coming into your business at all. But you need a business credit card you could use for day-to-day -day expenses. You want to use something other than your debit card or your personal debit card. So that's option number five, which is a prepaid business credit card. This is, I would have to say, the easiest type of card you can get for your business to use for day-to-day -day expenses, create a separation between you and your business. And the reason why, obviously, it's prepaid, you're funding the card. So there's no credit check, no revenues. You get all the spending controls you need. There's a simple integration with QuickBooks or, or all the other accounting platforms. Um, there's no personal guarantee, no annual fee with this card. It's very, very simple. So if you go to nopgcorporatecreditcard.com, um, obviously, th that's our link that refers you to this site, to PEX. Now, I did a video because they offer several different cards. They don't just offer a prepaid business uh, credit card you can get, but they also have an unsecured one. So watch this video right here if you want to learn about more about their other programs that they have. But for this particular video, we're sharing with you the fifth option, which is a prepaid business credit card. 
So I just share with you what type of business credit card should you start with. Should you start with one that requires a credit check? Should you start with one that requires a revenue check? Should you start with one that does a business credit check? Should you start with a secured option or should you go with prepaid? This just gives you the idea of what's available out there in the marketplace for you as a business owner so you can say, you know what, I, I like this entry point here, let's get started with this, I could use it for this. So I hope this, this video is very helpful for you in, in get, helping you navigate the business credit card space because there's so many different cards available in each one of these categories but I wanted you to make sure that you're aware when you see these this criteria what they require that you know okay that's option number four this type of card okay this is option number two this type of card because it allows you to save yourself some time as well but if you don't want to go through all the headache of navigating the business credit card space determining what type of business credit card should you get or should you apply for how much can you get this is why I recommend our pre-qualification review, which is our done for you service. That's where we could do a review. We could do a credit, uh, you provide us your credit report. If you don't qualify, we'll give you some of these other options, uh, some actual particular cards you can apply for. Um, so I do recommend going through our pre-qualification review. You go to businesscreditbuilders.org, like I mentioned for you, select that pre-qualify now tab. Uh, if you found this information useful, Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and also we appreciate in our comments if there's specific topics you'd like us to cover in these videos, be happy to uh, cover those. Just make a comment and we'll take that into consideration. So with that, make it a great day. We'll talk to you real soon.